today? What shall we do today? What shall I do today? What shall I do? I could start a new adventure by jumping on my bed. I could wake up Mr. Nilsen, carry horse above my head. I can dance a shotish, spread magic everywhere. I could skate around the kitchen, flip pancakes in the air. We'll do handsprings in the classroom, we'll do anything I want. Villa Villa Kula is waiting for us. What shall I do today? What shall we do today? What shall I do today? What shall I do? What shall I do today? What shall we do today? So cheerful. That's because they've got someplace nice to go for Christmas. Well, so do we. We always go to Aunt Matilda's. I don't want to go to Aunt Matilda's. This Christmas, I want to go somewhere they treat you like a king, where they give you everything you want. Me too. Like, uh, where? Like, um. Uh, the Grand Hotel. Come on. That's where we're spending Christmas Eve. But this is all the money we have. <laughs> you know that, and I know that. And now we know that, because we just heard you say so. Yes, but they don't know that. And by the time they find out, it'll be too late. <laughs> it'll never work. Watch and see. Thank you. We will. You know, this is my first Christmas ever on land, so I don't want to miss a thing. We'll just sit right here. Well, you'll have a long wait. Come on, Bloom. I, um... <laughs> Look, they got in. Time. <laughs> With money, that is. <laughs> don't worry, we will. Now, don't be angry. <laughs> it's Christmas. Nobody should be angry at Christmas. Come to the fair with us. Everybody's going. We can't. We're broken through. Ignore him. <laughs> Everybody goes, you say. And I bet they buy lots of goodies. For sure. Some people save up all year for the fair. Really? Uh-huh. Christmas can be so much fun, can't it? Come on, Bloom. Let's go to the fair. But we still don't have any... <laughs> oh, we will, Bloom. We will. Look at all these people. Yeah, and every one of them has a wallet. If we can't grab some money here, we don't deserve to be called crooks. Right! Well, let's get to work. Start scouting. What should we try first? How about... Where'd they go? I was going to treat them to a sausage. What? There's a what? Oh, 
right. Good spotting, Blue. Something? Yes! I mean, no! Uh, oh, <laughs> uh, he means uh, we uh, uh, wanted to tell you that your purse is open. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can't be too careful. Idiot! Bird brain! Why do I put up with you? Next time, I'll handle things. Ho ho ho! Money for the poor! Help the poor. <laughs> Thank you. Merry Christmas. Help the poor. Help the poor. Hmm. I know some poor folks who'd like to help themselves to that pot. Oh. <laughs> Us. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, Doc! Here comes Peppy! Here's two gold coins for you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and Merry Christmas to you. That settles it. I want that pot. Ah! Give me your money. Hey! Oh, don't worry, you'll get it back. And plenty more. Oh, Merry Christmas. No, you're supposed to put money in, not take it out. Give me that. No, you're a thief. Help! Police! Wait here. I'll be right back. Police! Police! Um, did you hear something? Um, you mean someone calling police? Mm, that's what I heard, too. Coming! What's going on here? Him! I think he was trying to rob the pot. Stealing money from the poor? Oh, that's disgusting. But it's Christmas Eve. Nobody would steal on Christmas Eve. There must be a mistake. Oh, that's right, that's right. Uh, it's all a mistake. What mistake? He was probably giving money, not taking it. Isn't that right, Thunder Carlson? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Is that so? Let's see this money. This is for the poor. Thank you. I knew not even Thunder Carlson would do anything wrong on Christmas Eve. He better not. <laughs> that was all we had. Don't worry, we're not beaten yet. I just have to find the right spot, that's all. And I will. Where to next? That way. No, over there. No, over here. <coughs> I'm lonely. Mr. Nilsson wants to go this way. Hey, good to see you. Glad you could drop by. Bet you didn't know I had a brother. <laughs> <laughs> I bet Mr. Nilsson didn't know he had one. Shake, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Beth, I didn't say keep it. Put it back! <laughs> Have you found the right spot yet? Not yet. Not. <laughs> All right, that's more like it. Come on. So tell me, brother, what do you do for a living? <laughs> Just monkey around, eh? <laughs> yes. Okay, got it, Bloom? I snatch the wallet, right? Right. And I pass it to you, right? Right. And you vanish into the crowd, right? Right. 
Wait, y you don't mean really vanish, do you? No. No. Just walk away, right? Right. Walk away. Got it. This'll be a cinch. So tell me, brother, have you ever been to the zoo? <laughs> they have some pretty strange-looking humans walking around there. Tall ones, skinny ones, small ones, mini ones, even crooked ones, like that guy stealing that man's wallet. Right over there! <gasps> Police! Police! No, 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 please! Uh, 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 oh, <laughs> oh uh, don't you get it? It was all part of the play. Uh, you know, we sure fooled you. <laughs> You sure did. I should have known it was all a joke. You wouldn't really steal anything on Christmas Eve, would you? No! no. Of course no. not. Oh, no. no. And here's your wallet back, sir. Oh, thank you for being such a good sport. <laughs> Here, bye now. Bye. A joke, my foot. That was an excellent fair. But I guess it's time to go home and get dinner ready. Why won't you come to our house for Christmas Eve, Pippi? It's so sad to think of you being all alone. But I'm not. Don't forget Horse and Mr. Nelson. If I came to your house, they'd be all alone. That's true. Well, Merry Christmas. We'll see you tomorrow. Merry Christmas! Wait! I knew I forgot something! You two go on in and get things ready. I'll be right back. Are we beaten now? <sighs> yeah. It's no use. I quit. We'll just have to spend another Christmas at Aunt Matilda's. Ooh. Oh no, I just remembered something. Aunt Matilda went away this year. She can't do that. It's not Christmas-like. But she did. We don't have anywhere to stay. Yes, we do. <gasps> Where? Right here. Hey. No loitering on the fairgrounds. Move along, move along, or we'll have to take you in. I don't care anymore. They can take me in. Don't be silly. Wait, you're right. Take us in. Our old cell. That's where we can stay. It's warm. Yes, and it's comfortable. And it's free. We could decorate it. It would be like... Home. Take, Take us, us in. in! Huh? Huh? They're gone. Now we'll never get to jail. Oh, yes, we will. There's one thing I know how to do. It's get arrested. Come on. Perfect. A restaurant. Let's eat. But we're broke. Oh, yeah. You mean we eat, can't pay, get arrested. Good idea. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> hey! hey! You can't do that! Open up! Oh, I'm sorry. We're closing. But you're in luck, though. We've got two slices of pie left. No charge. Merry Christmas. But, but, uh, oh, oh, I hate Christmas spirit. Don't worry, Bloom. 
We're going to jail. I don't care how horrible a crime we have to commit. <gasps> what? get to go to jail. Soon, soon. I just have to find the right crime. Well, <laughs> hurry up. It's freezing. Don't stop complaining. Hey, Mommy, and... we have some money for some candy. Hold everything. This might hey. be it. <laughs> yes, the perfect Christmas cry. They'll have to run us in. What? We're going to steal candy from a baby. <laughs> but that's, that's, that's really mean. Exactly. Come on. Give me that. Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. And here they come. Get ready. <laughs> oh, what are they waiting for? Oh, here they come. Finally. They escaped down this way, you say? Too bad. We'll never find them now. Yes, you will. They're right here. No, oh, we couldn't run any further. You've got us. We confess. We did this horrible deed. We stole candy from a baby. He did. I didn't. Well, well I mean... Uh... Take us in. We deserve to go to jail. You must have been very hungry to do what you did. What's that got to do with it? Don't you have any money? No. We did until he... Quiet. Don't you see? We're bad. Oh, we're really bad. We've got to be punished. Hmm. I've got an idea. What are they talking about? Well, I don't know, but I wish they'd hurry up. We've decided. Yes. We think if you were so hungry you had to steal from a baby, you really can't be blamed. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. So, we're going to let you go. That's right. Merry Christmas. Come on, girls. Wait! You've got to put us in jail! Well, that's very thoughtful of you, but we know you aren't really bad. Oh, yes, we are. We're bad. Take us in! Sorry, that wouldn't be in the spirit of Christmas. We forgive you. Besides, the officers don't want to have to spend their Christmas Eve guarding the jail. That's true. Let's go, Kling. Merry Christmas! No! No! Oh, it's no use. We're finished. We'll spend Christmas in this alley. Freezing, hungry, miserable failures. <sighs> Excuse me. Go away. I certainly will. <laughs> it's getting cold out. But before I do, I want to invite you to come to Villa Villa Coola for Christmas Eve. That's the reason I came back. Us? For Christmas Eve? If you're not busy. Well, I think we can find the time. Wonderful! <laughs> Right this way. I know it's not much.
much, but I hope you'll be comfortable. You mean we can eat this stuff? Certainly. That's what Christmas dinner is for, isn't it? Help yourselves. Yeah! yeah. Stop! I knew it was too good to be true. There's something missing. Mr. Nelson? I thought so. Have you forgotten we have guests? Take your place, please. You're supposed to be the angel. Can we eat now? But of course. First course, that is. <laughs> I'm stuffed. Oh, I couldn't eat another bite. Oh, what a pity. After I made this cream pie. Oh, well, here goes. Wait! Wait. Perhaps just one more bite. Well, that was just right. I do believe they've fallen asleep. Mr. Nilsson. I think we'll just leave them where they are. Good. Stocking all full. Oh, yes. There's one more present for Thunder Carlson and Blue. in our stockings. She did? Yes. Do you know what that means? We've got enough money to go to that fancy hotel. We do? But I don't want to go to a fancy hotel. I'd rather stay here. Hmm. That's funny. So would I. Good night, Bloom. Oh, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas. That's who. 
When? Tonight, Max. He's coming tonight. Where? Right here, Max. Santa is coming right here to our house. Why? Because. <sighs> why? You know why, Max. Santa comes every year at Christmas time to bring us presents. When? When we're asleep. Santa comes at night when we're in bed. That's why we leave him a snack to say thank you. Did you know Santa likes chocolate milk, Max? Most people put out the regular kind, but I think Santa likes chocolate better. He's magic, you know. Who? Santa Claus. How? He comes right down the chimney into the living room. When? Santa's not coming yet, Max. Why? Because, 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 Max. Why? He has lots of other houses to visit first. Let's hang up our Christmas stockings. Where's your stocking, Max? <laughs> Max. They go right here on the fireplace where Santa is sure to find them. Why? Because Santa's very busy. He has to come a long way to bring us presents. His reindeer pull his sleigh all the way from the North Pole. Where? Through the sky. They land on the roof and never fall off. That's enough questions, Max. You have to go to sleep fast before Santa Claus comes. Why? Nobody ever sees Santa Claus. Why? Because. Santa? <gasps> Santa! Hello. Max! I heard Santa! He came while we were sleeping? Oh no! You'll spoil Christmas, Max! How? I told you Santa only comes when you're sleeping. There's still time. Bed, Max. Why? Because. When? Don't look, Max. <laughs> 
Why? Nobody is supposed to see me. Why? Because everyone is supposed to be in bed. Nobody ever sees Santa Claus. What's this? Chocolate milk. <laughs> My favorite. Guess what, Max? What? It's time for me to go away and for you to go to sleep. Why? Because. <laughs> to look so beautiful. Are you ready to come out and make our Snow Queen, Max? Gorilla! I know you love the screaming green alien gorilla you got for Christmas, Max. But Grandma's coming over to see our Snow Queen. So we have to go out and build her right now. The snow is just right for making a snow queen. If it gets colder, the snow won't stick together. A little warmer and the snow will melt. There, now I'll just get your mittens. We're going to build the most beautiful snow queen Grandma's ever seen. Won't that be fun? Queen is just like making a snowman, except for the finishing touches. I'll show you, Max. You start with a little snowball like this. Then you roll it along in the snow. When it's good packing snow like this, the snow sticks to the snowball and makes it bigger. See how much bigger it is, Max? You can play with your screaming green alien gorilla later. Right now, I need you to help me build my snow queen. Please? This is going to be the bottom part of the snow queen. It's going to be the biggest. So we'll need a lot of muscle to push it. Ready? How big it gets if we both work together? Let's keep it going and make it even bigger. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Let's stop right here. Phew. Now you see why I needed your help. Let's start the second one. 
Ready, Max? Max, it isn't a Snow Queen yet. There's a lot more to do. Come on. Here, Max. You start this one. Just roll it in the snow like we did before. Good. Now keep on rolling it. This way, where there's more snow. Isn't this fun, Max? I think this is big enough now, Max. Let's lift it onto the bottom one. We have one more snowball to do. It's going to be her head. This one can be smaller than the second one. That looks just right. Help me lift it to the top of our Snow Queen. All right, Max? Now we have to make her a true Snow Queen. It's the finishing touches that make all the difference. There. Our Snow Queen has beautiful, sparkly eyes and a long royal nose, ruby red lips, and a royal chain necklace. And now, the final finishing touch, her diamond tiara. There. Isn't she beautiful, Max? Gorilla? All right, Max. You can go play with your screaming green alien gorilla now. I'm going to wait here by the Snow Queen. I want Grandma to see her just like this. Gorilla! I said you could play with your Gorilla Max. Where is it? It couldn't just get up and walk away. What couldn't walk away? Grandma! Do you like our Snow Queen? Oh, yes, she's beautiful! Do you like her diamond tiara? Oh, yes, it's so royal. And do you like her sparkly eyes and long royal nose and ruby red lips? It's truly the face of a queen. Oh, she's perfectly beautiful. You wouldn't change a thing? <laughs> Not a thing. Max's Rocket Run. Don't get too far ahead. Faster! He got a new Speed Demon sled for Christmas, and he can't wait to try it out. And 
I can't wait to go down Rocket Run! Do you think we're really ready to go down the big hill? Of course! Some of the other Bunny Scouts have done it. Then we will, too. Faster! We're coming, Max! It is! Rocket Run! It's going to be so much fun! Yeah! Faster, faster, faster! Oh no, Max! That's Rocket Run! You're not going down that hill. Only big bunnies like us go down Rocket Run. Big bunnies with big toboggans like ours. <laughs> Come on. I'll show you where little bunnies go. You'll love it. This is Bunny Hill, Max. This is the hill you're going to go down. Won't it be fun, Max? Where are you going? Whee! Faster! Oh no, Max. Not down Rocket Run. Just give the Bunny Hill a try, Max. Here, I'll go down with you the first time. You get in first, and I'll give you a push. Ready? One, two, three, go! I think my weight slowed us down. Next time you'll go by yourself. That should help you go faster. Come on, let's go back up to the top of the hill. Can we go down Rocket Run now? I'm ready if you're ready. I'm ready if you're ready. Do you want to go in front or behind? I don't know. Uh, the one in front gets the face full of snow. I know. So, I'll, I'll go, go in front. front. <laughs> <laughs> Faster. No, Max. You can only go down the bunny hill. But this time, you can go down on your own, and I'll give you a big push so you'll go faster. Faster! Ready? One, two, three, go! Whee! That was a lot faster, Max. Yes, it definitely was! Now it's our turn. Are you ready, Louise? Ready, Ruby! <laughs> <laughs> Wow, have you ever gone down a hill that fast? No wonder they call it Rocket Run. Well, still want to go? Sure, if you do, faster. I know, we'll both push you this time, and you'll go really fast, won't we, Louise? Sure. Ready? One, two... Three, go! All right, Max? That was the fastest yet. <laughs> Maybe we should watch the other bunnies go down Rocket Run before we go. Good idea, Ruby. Uh, all good bunny scouts look before they leap. Whee! 
I don't think we should try going down with no hands. Right. And we should try not to hit any bumps. Right. We can do it. Of course we can. We're Bunny Scouts. Bunny Scouts are brave and true. When a job must be done, what do we do? Hop to it. <laughs> All right, I'll go in the front. As long as you promise not to cover your eyes. I won't. Where's the toboggan? Where's Max? His sled is here, but Max isn't. Oh, no! He wouldn't! Max? Faster! Yeah! Ruby, what are you doing? I have to get Max. Hold on! I'm coming, too! Christmas shopping here, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I think so, Grandma. Now, where should we start? We've got to find a Christmas present for Grandma, Max. Present! Shh, Max, it's supposed to be a surprise. I'll go look in ladies' finer fashions. But if you see something Grandma might like, let me know, okay? Present. Right. I'll just be in ladies' finer fashions <laughs> to find something special. Okay, Grandma? Oh, sure, Ruby. Oh, look! There's Mr. Huffington at the Testament toy display. Toys? Well, hello there, Max. What toy would you like to test out today? <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Hmm. But I just don't think it's Grandma. Ooh la la. Those 
are gorgeous hats. Hmm. But I don't think it's quite Grandma's style. Ready, partner? I can get more than you can. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 dear. Oh, well, that was quite a duel. Sure was. You two put on a fine show. Want to do it again? All right. I'll just untangle these. Whoa! Hold up there, partner. It's okay. I've got my eye on it. Ooh. Beautiful. I love it. Earrings. Wouldn't these look beautiful on Grandma? Present. Huh? Present. A cowboy hat for Grandma? I don't think so, Max. I think she'd much rather have something pretty like this. Max, are you coming? You go back and keep Grandma busy while I look for a present, okay? Thanks, Max. There's got to be a gift for Grandma somewhere. Look what I found, Max. <laughs> Rider Cowboy! Nice lasso in there, Grandma. <laughs> I haven't had this much fun in years. Woo! Where are you going, Max? It's perfect. Beautiful. Present! Oh, Max, I didn't see you there. Hmm, I don't think Grandma would want a lariat or a hobby horse for Christmas, Max. But I know what she would love. This boa! I know she'd love it because I'd love it. I've always wanted a feather boa just like this. <laughs> <sighs> I'll come back here and buy it, but right now, you need to get to Grandma before she comes and finds us. We have to keep it a secret, okay, Max? Howdy, Ruby. Nice lariat, isn't it? Yes, Mr. H. Um, did you see where Grandma went? I sure did. She went that way. <gasps> oh, no. She has to stay out of ladies' finer fashions. Come on, Max. I need you to help. Okay, Max. Your job is to take Grandma back to the toy stand and keep her really busy while I buy the boa. Understand? Good. I can't wait to see Grandma's face when she sees that beautiful pink feather boa. Don't you think she'll love it, Max? <gasps> oh, no. The boa's gone. Somebody else must have bought it while I was at the toy stand with you. Now what will we do for Grandma's Christmas present? There's no gift as perfect as that boa. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you. Hi, Grandma. Ruby, are you all right? I'm just disappointed. There was a present I wanted to buy, and somebody else got it. Well, I have a surprise that might cheer you up. You do? What is it? I just knew you'd love this, and I couldn't wait till Christmas to give it to you. Grandma! My pink feather! 
another boa! I, I mean your pink feather boa. I was supposed to buy it for you. Well, um, there's something I'd like just as much. Present! <laughs> Grandma? Show us your stuff, Grandma. and Ruby's Christmas tree. Touch the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Yum da dum 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 da. La 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 da da dum dum. Max, today's one of my favorite days of the whole year. It's the day we decorate our Christmas tree. Ah, it'll look so beautiful when we're done. Beautiful. Look, I've got all my favorite ornaments. Oh. Beautiful. <laughs> you want to help me, Max? It's lots of fun. <laughs> Beautiful! Max, we don't decorate the tree with toys. We decorate it with beautiful ornaments. Now, Max, let's put these away. <laughs> don't worry. I've got enough pretty decorations for both of us. Come on, Max. Look, Max. I made this popcorn chain all by myself when I was little. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Max, this popcorn isn't for you to eat. It goes on the tree. Watch how beautiful it looks. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Dum, 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 da, dum. My popcorn chain is so long, it can go all the way around the tree. It's important to make sure that the Christmas tree looks beautiful all the way around. Dum, 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 da, dum. Beautiful. There. <gasps> Max, you put your slinky snake on the tree. But Max, we decorate our tree with beautiful ornaments, not slinky snakes. Beautiful. <sighs> okay, you can put your slinky snake on the tree. But then, let's put on all my pretty Christmas decorations. Okay? <sighs> Here's my gingerbread man. <laughs> He looks good enough to eat. But don't even think of it, Max. He's a Christmas tree ornament, not a cookie. Beautiful. Ooh. Now I need to find the perfect place for this little brass horn. Hmm. Maybe over here. aren't for Christmas trees. <laughs> Elves are for Christmas trees. See? Why don't you hang this cute little elf right here?
<laughs> okay. Now, what should we hang next? Beautiful. Look at this mirror ball. See? It reflects all the beautiful things around it. Beautiful. Huh? Spiders? Beautiful. Max, you're supposed to put decorations on Christmas trees, not spiders. Well, once we put on the tinsel, I'm sure our Christmas tree will be just beautiful. Here we are. Oh, I love tinsel. The important thing to remember about tinsel is to put it on the branches one strand at a time. That way, it looks like tiny little icicles all over the tree. There, all the tinsel is done. Wiggly rubber worms? On our Christmas tree? Beautiful. <sighs> well, I think we're done. We've put decorations on from the very bottom all the way up to the very tippy. <gasps> oh, no! We forgot to put our special tree topper on the top of the tree. This star is the perfect topper for our beautiful Christmas tree. How could I have forgotten it? Maybe I can reach it if I jump really high. Uh, uh. <sighs> it's no use. I can't reach it or I'll mess up all the other ornaments. We should have put the tree topper on first. <sighs> a Christmas tree just isn't the same without a tree topper on top. Don't you think, Max? Max? What's that sound? Your search and rescue emergency helicopter? Max, what's that pinwheel for? I don't believe it. Max, a pinwheel for a tree topper? Max, look at our Christmas tree. It's beautiful. Max's snowplow. Look at all the snow, Max. Come on. Let's play until Grandma gets here. Whoa! It's really deep. See what I mean? Come on, Max. Follow me. It's hard to walk in all this snow, isn't it? <laughs> Good idea, Max. Follow in my footsteps. Grandma get through all this snow. I know. Let's surprise her and shovel all the snow off the path, okay? Let's go to the shed and get out the snow shovels. It'll be fun. Look just like an angel?
<laughs> now we have two snow bunny angels. Okay, that was fun, but we better start to shovel now. There's a lot of snow. Max! Car! Yes, I see your car, Max, but that's a summertime toy. It's not for the snow. Max, don't you want to shovel the path for Grandma? Well then, come on! Let's go! Grandma will be here soon. to shovel this way, all the way to the gate. Car! We already talked about that. The car is a summer toy, not a snow toy, okay? You're here to help out. Huh? That's funny. Hmm. I, I thought I just shuffled there. Max! Car! Max, your car won't work in the snow. Your tires will get stuck and your brakes won't work. Now let's shovel the path so it'll be nice and clear when Grandma gets here. Just follow me. to help, but you put snow on the walkway and you're supposed to take it off. Can you please put it there? Thanks, Max. work. Who would have thought something so light and fluffy could be so heavy and hard to lift? Vroom, 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 vroom. Huh? Max! Oh well, you came by just in time. I need somewhere to rest after all this. Car! Too bad we couldn't clear the walk all the way to Grandma's house. But we'd need a snow plow to shovel that much snow. Hmm. Whoa! Max! Vroom! 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 <laughs> Max! <laughs> Snowflakes. Except when I have to shovel them. <laughs> well, I better get shoveling if I'm going to make it to Max and Ruby's house today. Oh my! Surprise, Grandma! 
Oh, my goodness! This is a surprise! I've never seen such a wonderful snowplow! <laughs> this isn't a snowplow, Grandma. This is Max's car! <laughs> out our Christmas tree. Can you, Max? Max? Hello, and welcome to Santa's Tree Land, where not only can you pick out your very own tree, you can also meet Santa Claus. Santa Claus! We are here to find the best Christmas tree you've got, Mr. Huffington. Well, you've come to the right place, Ruby. We've got all kinds. I know what kind I want. Perfect. And what does your perfect Christmas tree look like, Ruby? You know, Grandma. Nice and tall, not crooked at all, and bushy all the way around. In other words, just perfect. perfect. Well, you'd better hurry. They're going like hotcakes. Claus. Look how long that lineup is, Max. If we wait in line, all the best Christmas trees will be gone. Now, it won't take us long to find our tree, and by the time we get to Santa, the lineup will be gone. <laughs> Good. Hmm. This one is bushy all the way around. But too small. <sighs> this one is nice and tall. <laughs> but it's all crooked. Hmm. This is going to be harder than I thought. <sighs> oh. Hi, Roger. Hi, Mr. Piazza. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Looks like you found a nice Christmas tree. Uh-huh. Are you going to see Santa now? Sure am. Oh, I hope we can find a tree as nice as that. Now, don't worry. We will. Okay, Grandma. Max, where are you going? Santa Claus. <laughs> I want to see Santa, too. And we will. As soon as we find our perfect Christmas tree. <gasps> I think this might be it. <laughs> well, it, it's hard to tell until we brush the snow off. You want to help? We need to see if it's bushy all the way around. Grandma. It 
it's nice and tall. And not crooked at all. And it's bushy on this side. How about your side, Max? Max? Hmm. Where did he go? Oh! Hi, Max. Where are you off to? Santa Claus. Of course you are. <laughs> Max! Someone's eager to see Santa Claus. I've got good news. I think we found our perfect Christmas tree. Come and look. Then we can go straight to Santa. Right down here. Oh, my. Oh, no. Someone else found our tree. Well, there are lots more trees here. It, uh, what do you think of this one? Hmm, too bushy. <sighs> Way too crooked. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Louise. Hi, Morris. You found your Christmas tree. We sure did. And now we're going to see Santa Claus. We'll be there as soon as we find our Christmas tree. Okay. Bye, Ruby. Bye, Louise. Nice and tall, not crooked at all, and bushy all the way around. In other words, just perfect. perfect. What do you think, Max? Santa Claus! Oh, no, not again. Louise! What's the matter, Ruby? You've got a passenger. Huh? Max! What are you doing there? Santa Claus! Don't worry, Max. You'll get to see Santa Claus sooner than you think. Grandma and I found the perfect tree. Come and see. It's nice and tall and not crooked at all. It's right... <gasps> oh, no! They're taking our perfect tree! Don't worry, Ruby. Now, we'll find another one. I know, Grandma. We just have to keep looking. Oh. <gasps> Santa Claus! Do you see one you like, Ruby? Not yet, Grandma. And this is the last row. Uh, what about this one? Hmm. I guess it doesn't have to be a perfectly perfect tree. This one's almost perfect. Once you get the decorations on, I'm sure it'll look just beautiful. That's true, Grandma. What do you think, Max? <laughs> Max! Santa Claus! <laughs> <laughs> you ask Santa Claus for? <gasps> oh, my! <gasps> oh, Max! It's my perfect Christmas tree! Max's Christmas presents. Louise is going to help us make our Christmas tree decorations. It's all laid out on the kitchen table. <gasps> what a sweet little bird! What is it? It's a cardinal. It's probably looking for food. In the winter, there aren't any berries and seeds on the trees for birds to eat, so they have to work extra hard to search for food. That's why I always carry bird seed to feed the birds in the winter. Here you go. Merry Christmas, Mr. Cardinal. We'd better get inside and start making decorations. Good idea. 
Grandma said she'd come over soon to help us put them on the tree. Max? Do you want to help us make our decorations? I bet ours will be the only Christmas tree with all natural decorations. Decorating the Christmas tree is one of the things I love best at Christmas time. Me too. But I also love Christmas cookies and stockings hung by the fireplace and Christmas presents. <laughs> <laughs> Max's favorite thing at Christmas is seeing the presents under the tree. But first we need to decorate the tree. We've almost finished this cranberry garland. It looks beautiful, Ruby. I know. A few more cranberries and we'll be done. There. I think that's enough now. I hope so. We've used up all the cranberries. If you take the cranberry garland and put it on the sofa in the living room, Louise and I can make the next garland. Then we'll be ready to decorate the tree faster. Thanks, Max. <gasps> Don't drag it on the floor. Max, don't you want to help with the decorations? Oh, well. Next, the gingerbread men. <laughs> Christmas presents. First, we need to give our gingerbread men faces. All natural faces, right, Ruby? <laughs> <laughs> right, Louise. <laughs> huh? What's that? <laughs> well, you asked him not to let the end drag on the floor. <laughs> Max, those are for our decorations. See? And we have to finish decorating the tree before we can put Christmas presents under it. There, that's the last one. It's ready to go. You want to take this garland to the living room too? Max! I guess he got tired of helping with the decorations. <gasps> or maybe not. Careful, Max. Thanks. Enjoy your helicopter ride, little gingerbread man. Christmas presents. This pine cone and popcorn garland will make our Christmas tree look so wintry. And it's all natural. Huh? Oh, you're pulling the garland, Louise. I'm not pulling it. Well, if you're not pulling it and I'm not pulling it... Max? Christmas presents? I know you want to put the Christmas presents under the tree. But you'll have to be patient a little while longer. We have to finish this garland first. It'll just be a second. There, all finished. Now you can take it to the living room. Oh, little brothers. Thank 
Thank you, Max. Grandma will be here soon and we'll be all ready to decorate the tree. Christmas presents! <laughs> I can't wait to see how the all-natural decorations look on your Christmas tree, Ruby. We don't have to wait long. Grandma should be here any second. Come on. Our Christmas tree is going to look so beautiful. <gasps> Where did all the decorations go? I don't know. Huh? Max? What a beautiful Christmas tree! What do you mean, Grandma? Oh, just take a look! <gasps> Our own natural decorations! What are they doing out here? It looks like they're making a lot of hungry winter birds very happy. <laughs> we thought we were making Christmas tree decorations. But it turns out we were making the birds some delicious Christmas presents. Max and Ruby's Christmas Carol. This is the perfect spot for us to practice our special bunny Christmas Carol. Why here, Ruby? because nobody will hear us when we practice. And then, as soon as we know all our parts perfectly, we can go from store to store to sing it for every bunny. Good idea, Ruby. I know I need to practice. <laughs> okay, I've got everything right here. <gasps> Bell! <laughs> Max, there's even a part for you in our Christmas carol. Max? If you come here, I'll show you. Your part is to ring the bell. <gasps> bell? Yes. Here's your bell. Won't that be fun? Now, here's the song sheet. You're so organized, Ruby. And wait till you see what Grandma got for us. Wow. Oh, candles! They're beautiful. Now we can see our song sheet perfectly. Okay, does everybody remember how it goes? Uh, can you remind us, Ruby? Sure. We sing two verses, and then Max will ring the bell, and then we sing Merry Christmas to Everybody. Got it? Got it! Everybody come along, join our bunny Christmas time song. Ring a ling ding dong, join our bunny supposed to ring the bell, but you have to ring it at the right time. We sing, when you hear the Christmas bell ring, and we listen for the bell, and that's when you ring your bell. Perfect! And after you ring your bell, we all sing, Merry Christmas to everybody. When we can do the whole thing perfectly, then we'll go from store to store and sing it to everybody. Got it? Got it! Every bunny come along, join our bunny Christmas time song. Ring a ling ding dong, join our bunny Christmas time song. Every bunny come and sing, when you hear the Christmas bell ring. Ding dong, ring a ling, when you hear the Christmas bell ring. Ah, 
Not again. <laughs> Bell! No, Max. You're not supposed to ring that bell. That's the big bell they ring when they want everybody to come for something really important. This is the bell you're supposed to ring, the Christmas bell. Now you remember, right, Max? You ring your bell after we sing the line, when you hear the Christmas bell ring. Then we all sing, Merry Christmas to everybody. Got it? <laughs> Thanks, Max. All right, let's try this again. Bell. Everybody come along, join our bunny Christmas time song. Ring a ling ding dong, join our bunny Christmas time song. Everybody come and sing when you hear the Christmas bell ring. Ding dong, ring a ling. When you hear the Christmas bell ring. <gasps> huh? supposed to ring that bell. You're supposed to ring your little Christmas bell. We have to practice before we can go from store to store and sing it for every bunny. Um, Ruby? I don't think we have to go from store to store to sing for every bunny. What do you mean, Louise? Every bunny's come to us. I guess they heard the bell and thought something really important was happening. Oh, no. What's going on, Ruby? We were practicing our special bunny Christmas carol, and Max was supposed to ring his little Christmas bell, but instead he rang the big bell. Yes, so we heard. We wanted to practice till it was perfect. <gasps> but I guess we've practiced enough and we're ready now. Right, Max? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Louise and Valerie and Max and I would like to sing you our special bunny Christmas carol. Cool. Oh, oh wonderful. wonderful. Perfect. This sounds like the perfect time to light the town Christmas tree, don't you think? Yes, wonderful. Yes. Yes. Wow. 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 Terrific. Oh. 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 And Max, you know what to do, right? Bell. Right. Every bunny come along, join our bunny Christmas time song. Ring a ling ding dong, join our bunny Christmas time song. Every bunny come and sing when you hear the Christmas bell ring. Ding dong, ring a ling. When you hear the Christmas bell ring. Bell! Wee! <laughs> Merry Christmas to everybody!
and get our tree. It's only a few days till Christmas. We just haven't had a chance to go out for one yet, Franklin. Gotcha. This is such a busy time of year. We haven't baked our Christmas cookies yet either. Here's your oatmeal, Harriet. I gave you extra flies. I'll be sure to get us a nice big tree this afternoon. And we'll decorate it tonight. Yes! <laughs> Happy holidays, Mr. Mole. Uh, yes, Franklin. Uh, same to you. <sighs> Merry Christmas, Mr. Heron. Yes. Huh? <laughs> well, thanks. I'd feel a whole lot merrier if I weren't so busy. But same to you, Franklin. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> Boy, there sure isn't much holiday spirit in Woodland this year. All the grown-ups are so busy. <sighs> Check us out. <laughs> we just got our Christmas tree last night. We're getting ours today. Whoa, just in time. <laughs> this is a very busy time of year, class. What with Christmas and Hanukkah. Don't forget Kwanzaa, Mr. Owl. And Kwanzaa, too. Sometimes we get so busy preparing for the holidays that we forget to slow down and enjoy them. Uh, speaking of which, you all have a very important decision to make. Huh? Go outside for recess. Or stay in and decorate our tree with your new ornaments. Play in the snow, snow, snow first. Yeah. We can finish our fort. That's right. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> Mr. Owl, may I please stay in and decorate? Of course you may. Everyone else, be sure to dress warmly. <laughs> Maybe I should have asked someone to stay and help. <sighs> no, I can do this all by myself. <sighs> nice. <sighs> Pretty good. <sighs> Beautiful. Recess is over, class. Everyone <sighs> come back in and get warm. Wow! Hey. Awesome! Ooh, pretty! Looks great, Snail! Sweet! Oh, looking good! You did a lot, Snail! Once I got going, I couldn't stop! I can't wait to put mine up now! Me too! Wait for me! You go right there, little angel! Nice! Oh, yeah! Beautiful! Awesome! Excellent work, everyone. You've certainly made our classroom very festive. Too bad there isn't more holiday spirit in Woodland, huh, Franklin? Hey, what if we go caroling on Christmas Eve? I bet that would get the grown-ups into the Christmas spirit. Sure, we can sing in the town square. That's always a busy place. But we'll need some fun songs. Let's visit my Aunt T this weekend. Yeah. She knows lots of great songs. Sorry, Franklin, but I promised to help my dad invent an automatic tree decorator this weekend. And we'll be away until Christmas Eve, visiting my Grandma Snail. No problem. What about the rest of you guys? Want to go caroling? Sure. OK. Not me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, awesome. Hey, oh, and a very Merry Christmas to one and all. Cool, your and tree has an tea. angel on her tree, too. So Franklin tells me you need a song to boost the holiday spirit. We sure do. Do you have one? <laughs> you bet I do. Come on, follow me. Okay, let's see. The perfect carol to boost the holiday spirit in Woodland. I like the fa -la, la 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 part. Yeah, it's like what Mr. Owl said about slowing down and having fun. Some bells would be nice. You know, jingly ones. Jingly it is. You can play these. Wowie, jingle bells. <laughs> okay, let's all give it a try. Then I'll teach you the second verse, okay? I'm in. Everything, Auntie, especially the song. Nice work. You'll come hear us, right? Yep. Tomorrow in the square at four. Bye. Bye.
There, I'm ready to go. Aren't you forgetting something? The sleigh bells. Thanks, Dad. I'll get it. So, are you more excited about caroling with your friends? Or that it's Christmas Eve? Um, both. <laughs> Franklin, it's Bear. Thanks, Dad. Hi, Bear. I'm just about to leave. You can't? Why not? Uh-huh. Oh. oh um, no, that's okay. Yeah. See ya. Dr. Bear had to go out and see a patient, so Bear has to help watch B while his dad bakes. Well, that's too bad. But it's pretty nice of Bear to help out. Yeah, I guess so. And you guys are still coming to hear us, right? Yep. You better get dashing through the snow or you'll be late. <laughs> Thanks, Mom and Dad. Bye. I thought she was coming with you. She was, but then Mrs. Goose really needed her help over at the library. What about Bear? Is he coming? He can't make it either. Have you seen Rabbit? Nope. He's probably helping Fox build that automatic tree decorator or something. At least there's still you and me. Actually, my mom's at delivering some Christmas cookies she made. And besides, Carolyn was a good idea, but now there's not enough of us. Is it okay if I go help her? She really needs me. But what about spreading the holiday spirit? That's what I'll be doing, but in a different way. You can help too. That's okay, Beaver. I'm gonna stay here, but you go ahead. Thanks, I'll save you some cookies. I'm not too late. We just came back from Grandma's, and my mom had to do some last-minute shopping. So I came into town with her, and... Hey! Where is everybody? Don't tell me I missed all the caroling. There won't be any caroling, Snail. The other guys couldn't make it, and I can't just sing on my own. That's just how I felt the other day, when I started to decorate the tree by myself. I wasn't sure I could do it, but I really wanted to, so I did. You're right. I was looking forward to singing today, and I will. It's that time of year. The holidays are here. There's much to do, but don't forget, make time for Christmas cheer with a ho, 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 and a fa, la, 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 la. It's time for Christmas cheer. Huh? Hey, we sound great together. Yeah. Too bad nobody heard us. Hmm? I haven't heard that song since I was knee-high to a grasshopper. <laughs> but I still know it by heart. With a ho, ho, ho. With a ho, ho, ho. And a fa-la-la-la-la. And a fa-la-la-la-la. It's, it's time, time for a Christmas, Christmas cheer. cheer. <laughs> now that brings back memories. Do you know the second verse? Uh-huh. And he taught us. The holidays are here, getting busier by the year. So don't forget to take the time and share some Christmas cheer. With a ho, ho, ho. With a ho, ho, ho. And a fa, la, 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 la. And a fa, la, 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 la. It's time for Christmas cheer. Wow, everybody knows this song. Then let's all sing it together. Okay, but aren't you kind of busy? It's Christmas Eve. True, but I'll go much faster after a short singing break. And I just closed my shop early. Like the song says, it's important to spend time with your family and friends during the holidays. Thanks for reminding us, boys. Hey, Franklin. Hey, Franklin. Hey. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. You're just in time to join in. But I don't know the words. Here, you can play these instead. Cool. Franklin! Are we in time for the caroling? Bear? <laughs> sure are, Bear. Yes! <laughs> Ready? Hi, Goose. Hi, Mrs. Goose. Hi! Hello. Um, why aren't you caroling with the others? There was only Franklin and me left, so I delivered Christmas cookies with my mom instead. Oh, so no singing? I don't think so. Hey, what's that? 
It's coming from the square. Come on. There's much to do, but don't forget, make time for Christmas cheer. With a ho, ho, ho. With a ho, ho, ho. And a fa, la, 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 la. And a fa, la, 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 la. It's time for Christmas cheer. The holidays are near, getting busier by the year. So don't forget, take the time and share some Christmas cheer. With a ho, ho, ho. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Oh, you really did it, Franklin. Now everyone has the holiday spirit. Way to go! We did it! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Pogo Paws Wild Explorer Boots? Shit. Binoculars for finding super weird bugs from faraway lands? Shit. Dragon Snack Marshmallows? Ice Bridge? Volcano Shielding Sunglasses? Turbo Rowboat? Check. Check. And check. That's it. All done. We're ready to go on our wild exploring camping trip. Camping trip? Can we, Dad? Can we camp out in Franklin's backyard? I mean, in a wild, faraway land. <laughs> yeah, that is a fun idea, guys. But I'm afraid your camp out will have to wait for another day. Did you forget that we're leaving Brighton early in the morning to visit your cousins in the mountains? Oh, um, I didn't forget. But I just didn't remember right now. In fact, we'd better get going, Bear. We still have lots of packing to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't worry, boys. You can camp out another time. You sure can. It'll give you something to look forward to. I guess. See you, Franklin. See you, Bear. Have fun with your cousins. Oh. <laughs> is, is that you, Franklin? Yeah. Can you pass me the pipe wrench? Sure. It's the big red one. Okay, Dad. Thanks. Hmm, what's with the long face, son? Bear has to visit his cousins, so we can't have our awesome camping trip. Oh, well, that's too bad. But you can do it another time. But the terrible slime dragon will have gone back to the blurping mountain by then. Well, that does sound pretty important. And fun. <sighs> I remember. I used to have fun camping with your grandpa. You did? You know, this sink can wait. What do you say you and I have a backyard camp out together? Really? Step one, set up the tent. Awesome, Dad. This is going to be just like our planned with Bear. <laughs> yes! Great work. High five, son. Yeah. What do you want to do now? Tell stories? Make some s'mores? Play checkers? No, no, no. Bear and I had a real adventure plan. Dragons, right? Not just dragons. First, we have to jump over the volcano mountains, then ride across the stink swamp in the turbo boat, then cross the ice bridge, and then maybe we'll see the dragons, if we can catch them. How do we do that? Don't worry, I'll show you. <sighs> okay, we'll need all this stuff. Show me what you've got. Here are your pogo paws, Dad. You need them to jump over the mountains. Well, I used to have a pogo stick. Should be easy. <laughs> it's not as easy as I thought. Come on, Dad. We have to make it over the volcanoes. <laughs> I'm trying, son. I'm trying. Whoa. <laughs> Are you okay, Dad? Careful, honey. Don't hurt yourself. Have you tried these things? They aren't as easy as they look. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> look, you fell into a volcano. Now you're all covered with volcano dust. I can climb out. Dad, it's a volcano. Yes, dear, it's a volcano. Oh. Oh, yes. Well, um, maybe you could rescue me? <sighs> <sighs> that was close. Whatever you do, don't touch the swamp slime. Got it. Note to self, avoid swamp slime. <laughs> Look out, Dad. Now you have swamp slime all over your hands. Hmm. I do? Ew. Now you'll never get the smell out. Oh, well, come on. Hey, wait up. <laughs> C -c -c Careful. It's really slippery. B -b but once we make it over the ice bridge, we can catch some dragons. Come on. Brrr. Your turn. Okie dokie. 
My feet are just too big for this little bridge. Remember, Dad, it's freezing cold, so you have to oh, shiver. Okay, but I'm, I'm just trying to stay on the board. I mean, <laughs> ice bridge. Brrr. Brrr. Oh, oh, no! Uh, brrr? Ugh. Okay, I finished making my dragon snack. Let me see yours. Dragon snack? I thought we were just making marshmallow sculptures. No, we need to get the dragons to come close, so we make them snacks. I made a marshmallow dragonfly. Slime dragons love marshmallow dragonflies. Oh, I see. So what did you make, Dad? Well, I made this. Ah, it's me! I'm not a dragon snack! <laughs> Sorry, son. I, I thought we were just making statues. Um, no. That's not how we play it. Oh. Oh, well. We might as well just eat these. Guess I'm not very good at this game, huh? Well, not as good as Bear. That's all. Tell you what. I bet with a bit of practice, I can get really good at these pogo paws. Why don't you share your dragon snack with Harriet? <laughs> I bet she'd love it. Okay. I guess. Mm. Milk for your tea? This will make it more yummy. Hi, Harriet. Hi, Franklin. Want some of my dragon snack? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> mm. Can I play? Yeah, you could sit in Bee's chair. She's not here. Oh, right. I guess you miss Bee just like I miss Bear. Uh-huh. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, oops. Franklin! Sit nice like Bee does. Okay, I will, I will. Hello, Giraffe. Hello, Mr. Frog. No, Franklin. You have to call them by their real names. But I don't know the real names. That's Cece, and that's George. <sighs> Hello, Cece. Hello, George. My name is, um... I'm Bongo from the planet Zerky. <laughs> Franklin! <laughs> I'm Bongo the alien from outer space, and I'm coming to your tea party. Franklin, you're silly. Um, delicious moon cake. Aliens from Zerky love moon cakes. <laughs> it's not cake, it's tea cookies. Hello, Captain Tingaloo. Are you there? Franklin, play right. It's not a phone, it's a teacup. Sorry, Harriet. I'm just trying to have fun with you. What's going on in here? Franklin doesn't know how to play like me and B. Sorry. I was trying my best, Harriet. I'm going to do this. All right. Ooh, let me see. Okay, get your best. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Honey, I don't know if your father is ever going to get the hang of those pogo paws. I know. But he's sure trying hard, isn't he? Mm-hmm. He sure is. He really wants to have fun with you. I am a space alien from the planet Zerky. <laughs> that is fun. Just not bear kind of fun. But maybe even better. Bye, Mom! Bear kind of fun. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Gotcha, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, son. I know it doesn't look like it, but I really am getting better. It's okay. We don't have to do the same things I do with Bear. Let's do our own stuff. Oh, I don't mind. But my caboose can't take much more practice. What sort of stuff did you do when you went camping with Grandpa? Hmm. Hmm. Help me get these off and I'll show you. Okay, Dad. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Ow, my caboose! <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is what your Grandpa and I did together. It's called stargazing. It's pretty much my favorite thing to do when a camp out. But we're not doing anything. We're just staring up at the sky. Ah, see the way those stars there seem to make the shape of a pot? Um, yeah? Well, that's called the Big Dipper. Oh, now I see it. That's kind of cool. And that very bright star there is called the North Star. Explorers and pirates for thousands of years have used it to find their way anywhere in the world. Wow. Whoa! Did you see that shooting star? I sure did. That's my first one ever! Well, I'm glad I was here to see it with you. If it wasn't for you, Dad, I don't think I would have seen it at all. Whoa! There's another one! Cool! <laughs> <laughs> and that is why you always have to brush your teeth before you go to bed. <laughs> Dad! 
That wasn't scary. It wasn't even a ghost story. <laughs> well, I'll save the scary ones for next time. Coolio. You know, your sculpture's pretty good, Dad. Thanks. Even if I am a dragon snack. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you going to eat it? Hey, I'm no dragon. I'm a turtle. And you better not eat it either, or you'll have to brush your teeth again. <laughs> <sighs> You're super fun, Dad. Really super fun. Aw, thanks. Dad! Dad! Hi! Ow! What is it, Franklin? Bear and I are going to have our camp out. Have fun, boys. Franklin said you know everything about stars. He did, did he? Yeah. Can you come and teach us about stars? I'd love to. You guys go along. I'll find you just after sundown. Hey, that means we have time for... Volcano, Volcano jumping! jumping! Yes! All right! Do you want some tea? Yes, pretty please. Come on. <laughs> okay, now you be the alien. Alien? At a tea party? Franklin showed me. You be the alien from space who comes for tea, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then we made marshmallow sculptures, and then Dad told me a story about why you have to brush your teeth. That was really funny. Awesome! You think he'll tell it to me? I bet he will for sure. Hey, watch out for the <laughs> oh, volcano! No. Watch out! <laughs> Bye.